Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Xenoblade Chronicle 2. We are on the roots of the world tree trying to head, well, basically to the world tree, to the base of it. And trying to catch up with Melos, Jin and everybody of, uh, let's say, the villain gang. So, it's going to be traveling quite some time, but I want to get to the world tree before I head out again, since we have the full party now. And start doing the quest, the heart to hearts that we still have opened up. So I want to continue onwards a little bit further before doing that. So there is a good chance that the next episode will be handling uh, some of our blade quests and of course heart to hearts. And of course in between episodes I will continue to grind tiger tiger points in order to uh, maximize Poppy. And there is one quest that I do want to do before the end of today's episode and that is the quest that I saw when I went back to Toro's house there is a quest there so I had a feeling that it was going to be a really nice important quest and got confirmed slightly spoiled in the comments so that's why I definitely want to do that today so that when I'm just getting up some more ether points with Tiger Tiger I can start building out my poppy units at all and make Tor even more impressive than he already is. So let's see. Your Majesty, yesterday we sealed Section 47. I see. This is even faster than the surveys estimated. Furthermore, we've detected surges of geothermal energy in the Royal Precincts. So we can't hold out for long, even here. The ether flow is the lifeblood of the Titan. The temperature is increasing with its age. Perhaps we should hasten moving the capital to Gormod. We've only just recalled the Consul. And with no good explanation to the Gormati. We don't want to sow discord for no benefit. It's just, I fear time is running short. Indeed, but not only for us. Gormot is fertile for now, but the harvests have been declining for years. It's like a cry issuing up from the center of the world. Your Majesty, what is it? Nothing. Just my imagination. My sister. Where are you now? Well, we're uh, heading to the root of the problem. Let's just uh, keep it at that. The Great Void, it's almost completely gone. After all, the Great Void was Ophion's doing. Yes, indeed. So with Ophion gone, the Great Void could not support itself. If only we were above the surface, we could easily cross. I mean, it doesn't look impossible to climb, but it's nastier than any mountain, that's for sure. Everyone. Here. Hyra. Is he seeing something? Or does she know something? Hmm, curious. The insides of the world tree. I'd never a thought. It seems to be an artificial tower enveloped by gargantuan plant life. Seems like we could use this to travel up. Oh. Pyra, what did you do? Honestly, I'm not sure myself. It's like my body is remembering something all by itself. It must be another power 
granted to the Master Blade by father. So, we need to hurry. Why? Well, this was hardwired into my brain. So, Malos must have the same thing. Not good. Seems this is some kind of elevator. Does this takes us That's all the way to the top? Fancy glazing. Ooh, you never were good with heights. Shut your eyes. Let's go. Well, this would be inside of the tree, so he won't see we going up so fast. Cause that would be scary. Going up hundreds and hundreds of meters, even kilometers, with just expanse everywhere in the distance seeing the titans float by and stuff like that. Yeah, that would be a very scary height, that's for sure. Alright, so basically, what the world tree is, is nothing more than a base of operation for the architect with an actual tree on the outside to fool people that it's a tree. So basically like the Terminator models, like metal on the inside, flesh on the outside. Crude, crude uh, comparison, but I think you get what I'm uh, going for here. Yeah, I think there's nothing for us to do than just uh, go up the other way to see where it takes us. It's a new day, everyone. Look alive. It definitely will take us further into the tree, but will it take us directly all the way to the top? Or are there going to be obstacles preventing us from getting there? He's recovering, getting back to his uh, normal strength, I guess. You can die when we're done. We made it this far. I don't plan on giving up. Damn. If Judicium hadn't gone down, we might have got you some better treatment. Uh, when human cells are woven into the body of a blade, they awaken strange abilities. That's good enough for me. This'll do fine. Even though she'd hate you for it, right? I know Laura wouldn't have wanted this. Even so, I've got to keep my promise. All right, I'm with you all the way. <sighs> hey, Jin, you better not get sentimental. I found the ruins of Torna down in Moratha. Oh. There were half-rotted blades there. Couldn't grow into titans. They must have lived on for a while down there. A man once said, live together with the humans. Really, we were just living for the humans. That was what the architect ordained for us. And look what we became. You're still sure about what you want, right? That thing. It's a reminder. To remind me what a fool I was to ever have faith in the architect. I have to say, it is very interesting to see that a blade becomes stronger when merged with human cell. Like, they were meant to be together to become the stronger entity. Even though it's probably considered sacrilegious in that world. Not a good thing. The world tree. Oh, this is gonna be some massive project to go through, isn't it? 
with major obstacles holding us back. Major boss fights and puzzles to be solved. <laughs> definitely. Now that's definitely going to be interesting. Let's have a look around. Old tech robotics, definitely. Does also mean that the stuff we're gonna find here is gonna be the most advanced things we can get. Okay, bring it on. All right, all right. Poppy will show you A docile sentry. We'll destroy you, no problem. All right, at least the pole is gone now, so no new ones will be called. And we got a new chip. Are we already getting a stronger version than the ones we got from the ring? Yeah, we do have to check it out after this fight, but let's first get the crap out of it. Oh, I was looking at uh, the stats when he said, oh, he ain't gonna survive another hit. Torar, you really take over the aggro there. Maybe we're gonna survive till the next level. When do we get to the dissection? Prepare yourself. Why not? Yeah, and I really should start using more common uh, cores or start selling them because I already maxed out on those. You're but that's mean we'll fill up on we did what we were told to. All, friends return all possible blades we could unlock. And then we need to determine which one would be released then. Because my idea was max them out, get the item, release them, fill them up with new blades. But yeah, you get more cores than blades so quickly. Let's see, what else do we have down here? Okay, so we probably do want to see what's on the side. A chest, of course. Because we do not want to miss, want to miss any more chests along the way. Treasure acquired. Because of the further we get, uh, the higher the chances we'll get the max level uh, puppy guide to creating uh, the new pieces. Okay. Bring it on. Bring and like I said, we do not want to miss that. Because then it's when the real fun starts. That's where we're going to start uh, building our puppy with the final forms. I've already been grinding level 5 Tiger Tiger just in hope of getting a few master mods, but they don't drop a lot. That's what I've noticed so far, because I've been playing it for like 2 or 3 hours. So my point count is reasonable, so I can buy lots of different things in order to upgrade Poppy. But I've only gotten one master mod in all that time, and it's one master mod that i not very uh, uh, need for it. It's the lucky master mod. But I'm guessing it's just a very rare drop rate, and I just need to continue on and hope for the best. Double it. When do we get to the Can you get your final disaster out there? But then we'll definitely make an end of this enemy. Good. 
belong in my lap. Lap with a B or with a P? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the enemies drop a lot of really nice items, so fighting here is not a bad thing. It's actually kind of good, because it gives us more money, and having said that, let's check the chips. Get us a lot of chips to upgrade our characters, since there's no shop that's selling them, we need to get them from the drops. Alright, so... We've got Photon and Dark Matter chips. Photon is again stronger than what we have, uh, but no special effects. Quicker hit rate, block rate is a little bit higher. Doesn't mean it's... It's probably a good one for healers, but not for tanks, is it? Yeah, because then the block rate will uh, be taken down and we don't want that. At least not at this time. Because 63% is pretty nice. That's a lot of blocking uh, going on over there. So who are going to give it to someone within our team? Because we know that Korra and uh, Mithra, of course, will be here. So they will be the prime recipient of the first few chips that we're getting. Axion, critical hit rate, but no uh, added stats. I have to think about that. Because it's really easy to just fully go for uh, attack power and stuff like that, but the additional stats you get for certain chips is definitely a nice thing to have as well. Okay, so we had one level so far. I wonder how deep this rabbit hole gets. Wow! World has many amazing places in it! We discovered good place. <laughs> you definitely discovered a beautiful place. Oh, can you imagine all of this being inside the world tree? We didn't think about that, did we? You think they make just one elevator going all the way to the top and not with multiple layers. What have we here? In my experience. Because we haven't seen anything useful in the la layers in between, so it's not like they have to make a stop there in order to do something before continuing on. Alright, I think we need to take that pole down. Okay. Yeah. Bring it on. It would have definitely not let us pass, that's for sure. And this gave us the nice core, the nice chip, so yes. Uh, why are you not on my stand attack anymore? Thank you. We need to finish this one. Yeah, or else people will keep on coming. Yeah, it's just close quarter. Any area of attack uh, moves will definitely be a boon. And people are already dead. No. What the hell? Tora, no, no. No. How the hell did you do that? 
That is so not necessary. What, what happened? Next time lucky, Master Pawn. He just knocked us all over the railing. I did not know he could do that. Cheeky bastard. Um, alright. So how do we get there? Is there something we can interact with? No. So maybe if we get out of the pipe, we can make that jump over to that location. Because that is way too far for us. Careful. Well, technically, if there's a chance of us being detected by that thing, we might as well take out the monsters here. Because I thought the close quarter would be an asset to us, so we can use our area of attack to damage them a lot. But it also made me vulnerable of getting thrown out of the ring. Come on. Do the pandemic. Final disaster. A little bit late. Let's give him the power hammer. You can't escape me. Damn, I was just saying, we need an extra heal. Mom, help them down. Make haste and retreat. Good. Yes, the explosion is never gonna come out, so let's destroy him. And that's for level is so short. Is that because I accidentally disconnected? Oh, well, it's fine. Enemies element is irrelevant. Why not? Rolling smash. Spinning. Cut up. Eagle eye. Top of the top. Rolling smash. That takes care of that. I cannot help but admire. Why not? Uh, what's still triggering us? Gotcha. Really? It attacked us all the way from over there. Yeah, we're gotcha. never gonna go past that. <laughs> Why not? Oh, 
Ooh, we got the wild roar. Perfect. And lightning buster. Alright, let's open those up. The power to do what needs to be done. Power what? Yeah, so much more skills to unlock, so much more affinity to be gained. <laughs> okay, let's see, what does the floor look like? Ooh, we got a heart to heart. Well, I do see where it does want us to go, so this is a dead end. So let's see what we can find here around the corner. It would be the perfect place for a chest, wouldn't it? Ooh, or a staircase. Come out, come out. In my experience. Well, as long as we can get to the heart to heart, I'll be happy with that. We can make a head start on the next episode. Because <laughs> could it be that climbing the world tree is basically You're going towards mine. the end game? So we do have to make sure to keep our quest up before we reach the top. Ooh. Bikes? Uh, no, that's like a, a unique oh. monster fight. It will take too long to do. I rather save those for in-betweens. <laughs> you did giggle along the way. It does not mean you should uh, lure the bikes towards us, really, guys. Uh, where was Heart to Heart? No! We lost the upper hand! How? 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 Maybe we'll get out of this live out! For sure! Denial protocol. Why not? Thanks for the support. Okay, that bike did that on purpose, I saw that. Where are you gonna get it to level 2? And then continue on with Rune is Weather. Oh, you can get to level 3, Mia. You can do this. Another one, or no, it's the same one. Perfect. All right, let's uh, look up that heart to heart. Oh, 
looks like it's on top. Oh, we're definitely gonna be detected, isn't it? And arrived. Oh, this is where we were going. So, Rex, do you truly believe that Elysium exists? Do you even have to ask? In some form, it does exist, but what we can do there, that's going to be the question. Don't you, Morag? I don't understand why you'd even be here, then. No, that's not what I mean. I just wanted to clarify how everyone truly feels. After all, don't most people only know of Elysium from fairy tales? They do. Well, I guess so, but our chum here has seen the real deal in his dreams or whatever, right? There were wide green fields and a warm breeze and a beautiful city like nothing I've ever seen. Pyro was standing on top of a hill overlooking it all. I'm sure it must have been Elysium. There's no place like it in all rest. The place you saw in your dream. Is it prudent to believe in Elysium based on that information alone, I wonder? Don't you trust me and Pyro, Morag? Oh no, I trust you both. But just because a place exists in your dreams does not necessarily mean it exists in reality. Or in what matter it exists, because who knows, maybe it's a ruin just like the city here. And what he saw was what it used to look like. Zeke, can you honestly say you have never doubted Elysium's existence in the slightest? Well, I guess I have wondered from time to time. At the end of the day, the only way to be truly sure is to go there, right? True enough. As for now, Rex believes it's real, and that's enough for me. Oh, Zeke. I mean, sure, it's best for everyone if it does exist, but even if it doesn't, does that really change anything? Our chum's on a mission to help Pyra reach her dream. Whatever the outcome, I want to see that through to the end. <laughs> a mission. So what if there's no proof? Chasing after dreams is what real men are born to do. So true. We all have dreams and we chase them. <laughs> Very well. I appreciate your passion. Though I'm not quite sure I understand your notion of a real man. Hey, no worries. You'll figure it out eventually. I mean, you're basically the manliest one here. <laughs> Zeke, there are some things in this world you don't joke about. No, do not joke about a woman being a man. And then expect not to get hurt by it. <laughs> But just because he dresses a little bit more manly doesn't mean he sees himself as a female. You know what I mean? Even my temper has its limits. Exactly. And you might feel it if you... Uh, don't take it easy, Zeke. Would you like me to teach you a lesson you won't ever forget? Uh, Morag, you're scaring me a little. Hold it, hold it, I was just joking around. <laughs> <laughs> L listen, nobody needs to die here, okay? The legendary land. Yeah. All right. So we have a teleport that goes that takes us right here to this location, and we can use this to travel further downwards towards the next uh, layer of the world tree. So I think it will be a good time to go back to Gormoth. And go back to Taurus house and check out what that quest is and if it is what I think it is because if it is it's gonna be a beautiful thing <laughs> very vague but it will be explained in a few moments let's get going yes that's the one I saw a quest with Tatazu and when I saw that I thought hmm is this like the starting quest line for getting Poppy's last form let's see Upon, you feeling okay? Your fluff look ruffly. Huh? Oh, it Tora. Me not too bad. Tum Tum is quiet. Master Pon is careful with health, good food, much sleep, regular poo poo. Indeed, body of Dada Pon is temple. Oh, too much info for Tora. So then, why make grumble noise? Uh. Well, 
thing is... ...was thinking of making new mode for Poppy. Oh! Tora and Dadapon have same idea. Tora was thinking, it about time Poppy got even more Poppy power. What? Tora think that too? Truly Tora is Sonipon of Tatazo, has Dadapon's ideas too. So, what was Dadapon's idea? Tell Tora. Tora excited. Okay, Dadapon will let Cat out from bag. Hmm. Behold, Poppy's most super duper mode. Wh what's this? You like? Tora likes so much, run out of words, maybe. This mode called Super Fighter Mode. This poppy size of ten roses. More battle power than Titan Warship. That's too big. What Dadapon thinking? Dadapon just take old poppy blueprint and enlarge. Dadapon thinking just like Banner. What? Tora not like great big poppy? Well, how about this? <laughs> Smaller sized <laughs> miniature poppy. Huh? Oh. It's too small for Tora's eyesight. This is titchy little poppy. Extreme compact. But what for? And you just changed size again! What good is itty bitty little puppy? Catch mice and rats, maybe? Tora not see? This puppy piddly but can sneak in anywhere and no one know. And battle capabilities, same as normal puppy, strong like ant. That upon all this a bit fur brained. Not like little piddly puppy either. Well, let's hear Tora's silly idea then. Really want to hear? Really? All right. Tora suppose can share secret. Tora's big idea called Poppy Cutie Pie. Cutie Pie? Cutie Pie. Right, no cooties. <laughs> Become great big grown up. Poppy should move to next phase of life. Tora and Poppy grow up together. Hmm. I know not meaning of cutie pie, but Tora's unruly, lovable enthusiasm shine through very bright. Dadapon, Dadapon, like it. Yes, Tora, this makes sense for a change. Very well. Dadapon will get right to it. Lila, ready my things? Yes, Master Pon. At once. Hear that, Poppy? Master Pon and Dadapon will work in chamber for a little bit. Don't let anyone disturb very, very, very important work. Got it? Yes, Master Pon. So what would her new form look like? It would be a full-grown woman. An adult shape, isn't it? Tora? What's oh. the little ball of fur getting into this time? I can already Clear. anticipate the outfit. <laughs> it sounded like they were going to try to power up Poppy somehow. I also caught some bollocks about growing up and phase of life. You'd know. You're the master of talking bollocks. Huh? How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> you know exactly what I mean. Well, I guess this means they're going to remodel Poppy. Guess so. Whatever it is, looks like they won't be coming out of there for a while. Nothing for it. Why don't we go and take a rest at the inn? Yeah, let's. Oh, it would be really nice if uh, we get to see the new form already. Because I was thinking it might be a, 
chain of uh, quests. Huh? This still latte? Yes, cat lady. Master Pan working feverishly, not stop for food, sleep, or poo poo. Tora, he doesn't know what's good for him sometimes. He's going to wake himself bored one of these days. My lady. Ta da! Master plan of Torah complete. Master plan? Sounds great. But what on earth is it, Torah? <laughs> Behold! Really something, huh? Show me. Behold, final and bestest form of puppy. My lady, are you quite all right? <laughs> Dora, is this not too much? Only yesterday, Poppy was little Pong. Maybe she grow too fast. Dora, not care. Tora feel that Poppy is ready to be real grown up. Tora, can you really build such advanced robo woman? Dad upon Tora mean what he say. Destiny calling for Tora. Rude not to say hello back. Well said, my little pom. Oh. <laughs> So basically, do we need to grab some materials before we can actually implement it? Because he just made a plan, didn't he? Will you get off me already? <laughs> Powered up puppy received. Uh, high priority quest, definitely. And that fits with the plans I had for the next episode, basically. Uh, doing quests to uh, get further ahead in the game. Uh, let's have a little talk with uh, Tatazu, what he wants. Ah, now it's time to begin upgrading of puppy. Tora, I prepare a workshop for upgrade process. When I do this, you gather necessary materials. Ah, all right, Daddy Pon. And yes, Rex Rex and friends help too? Of course we will help. Ah, necessary material is 10 golden cog. Can be found by salvaging. Leave it to me then. Meh, meh, Tora counting on Rex Rex. Masterbone should learn to do more things for herself. Ah, Puppy's so harsh. Puppy really does know how to throw shade sometimes, doesn't she? Did you design her that way, Tora? Tora not know what Nia mean. Tora not weird person who likes being insulted. Tora have no idea why Puppy end up with personality like this. Well, she grew through experience. And that's made her this way. Would make Tora happy if Poppy learned to act more polite, like Lila. Ah, Tora only say that because he's not see how harsh Lila can be. When cleaning up, Lila always tried to throw me out with the trash. When inside house, Master Pond generally falls on the same category as household waste. See, see, Lila not more respectful than Poppy really. Ah, yes, these two are sisters, all right. Less complaining and more upgrading little sister of Lila into a wonderful new form. Lala having difficulty containing anticipation. Ah, right you are, right you are. Tora, hurry and bring necessary materials. Of course, that upon. What is point of Master Bond getting motivated when Rex do all hard work? Oh, puppy still too harsh. All right. So we need to salvage some materials. I'm pretty sure it will be here in Torigov. Come out, come out. So I will be salvaging in between the episodes to get the necessary materials. And beside that, of course, continue on with Tiger Tiger, because I think 100,000 Ether points will make a good start towards what we need to upgrading not only Poppy, one Alpha, but Cutie and Cutie Pie. It's gonna be a hell of a lot of points. And I would love to have the last uh, booklet as well, but before we get to that we also need to make sure all three forms are viable 
for combat right now. Because if we get like a cutie pie and she's not strong enough to survive fights, then we have no use in combat for her. So we need to upgrade her to the level that we have now until we find wherever that uh, last booklet is. So yeah, it, it is a thing that I'm, I'm actively uh, trying to think about because I can always uh, make Morak the tank for the time being with, with of course, her blades and then continue on the game until we find that booklet and then use all the points we collected into investing into that final form because there is a chance if I now grind like 50,000 ether I use them all up to upgrade the puppies that when we get that new booklet I need to grind again so much in order to buy the new upgraded stuff. Yeah, it is on the back of my head and I will have to think about that on what we're gonna do. But we'll see that in the next episode. For now, plans are doing heart to hearts and a few of the quests we have uh, aligned before continuing on on the world tree. And that's for next time. Until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure to be back next time as we continue on with our gigantic quest list that we need to complete. See you then. Bye-bye.